Welcome back. We are already at video number three and I am so happy I was able to share just a little part of these seven secret levels with you so you can get a taste of the way that they've changed things for people and the way that they can really transform your sales calls, transform your business, transform your life. So, you know, I was someone who always felt that sales was difficult. I really felt awkward about sharing my price um, and I've held, had clients who felt super awkward about sharing a price or putting a price on their services. And what it does is it holds you back from doing the transformative work that you want to and are meant to do. So in order to step into your value, in order to step into your power, you have to transform so that you can transform others. And that really starts with shifting your beliefs so that you get out of those lower levels, one, two, three, and start operating in those higher levels that is where successful entrepreneurs operate their business from. So what I want you to think about before we dive in is what would it be like if sales was no longer this um, stuck point for you? What would it be like if you were able to raise your price to that scary price and actually feel beyond comfortable? What would it be like if you were able to do transformative work with people and you didn't have to feel like, oh shoot, I have to you know, get through a sales call in order to do this? Um, those things would most likely shift your world in such an incredible way. So I want to share with you the way that I help my clients use this process to shift their world and their results. So um, the first thing is that it comes down to a process that I call the four W's, which stands for why, what, where, and what now. And what we do is we look at your beliefs. So those could be money mindset beliefs. Maybe those beliefs are, I don't deserve a lot of money. I'm not capable of making a lot of money. Making a lot of money is selfish. Or I have to struggle and work really, really hard in order to see results I want in my business. That struggle equals you know, freedom or profit or whatever it is. If those beliefs aren't serving you, then you are not going to be able to serve. Bottom line, period. So the way we do the four W's is this. First, it's starting with why. That's the first step. So we determine what your current beliefs are now and look back and establish what created those beliefs. So I had this client who wasn't really getting sales calls and the calls that she was getting, she wasn't showing up like her powerful self. And she was like, I don't get it. You know, I can show up other places and, and kind of be okay, but you know, I'm not, I'm not showing up with power. And it was really stopping her from enrolling clients. So what we realized is we were like, okay, what's causing that? And what it was is she associated power as something bad, as something that was only reserved for men. Because in the family that she came from, the males in the family were the ones who were allowed to have the power and women uh, were a little more you know, subservient. Um, I don't know what word she'd use, but that power didn't belong to the women. So we realized that if she were to own her power fully and get on those sales calls and rock it, she would in a way be doing something that would go against her family values. So what the second step is um, of the four step process, the second um, of the four W's is what? So what is she gaining by keeping that belief, right? We're figuring out now what the gain is. For her, keeping that belief meant that she was able to still kind of fit into the way that her family works and into the way that she thought that women needed to be. She wanted to feel powerful. She wanted to transform the lives of these prospects and these clients, but she realized that she couldn't do that, or so she thought, when she was still holding onto this belief that she wasn't allowed to feel powerful. 
Which brings us to the third W, which is where. And where really tests your conviction to your goals and your faith that you're completely on the right track and you're always protected no matter what you do. So for my clients, having this answer like, oh, that's why I haven't been showing up like myself. That's why I haven't been showing up powerfully. Having that was such a weight off her shoulders and she was able to confidently say, oh, I want that power. I wanna step into it on these calls and serve in the way that I'm meant to. So for her, that third step of where was, yes, I'm going for this and that's just how it is. Which brings us to the fourth step, which is what now? So, so many times people, you know, you'll hear people say, oh, just raise your prices, just say it confidently, or, you know, oh, just, you know, say this to this objection and this to that objection. But what you can really see is that if you have this underlying belief that is completely negating what you're supposed to do or what rather you want to do, then it's not going to materialize. So with the fourth W, what now? It's what's the choice that you want to take? Where do you want to go with this information? How can you both have your family and you know still kind of be a part of that in a great way, but also be able to do the work that you're meant to do? And for my client, she was like, I'm owning this power, I'm taking it with me. And she went from zero to eight clients in under a month, I think somewhere around about three weeks was charging a price she felt great about. And it's all because she was able to figure out and really take that old belief system out that was, that was preventing her from the results that she wanted to see in her business. So as you can see from these four W's from the seven secret levels, you know, it goes beyond just our thoughts. It goes down to what our beliefs are. And when we shift our beliefs, we shift our results. So again, what would it be like for you to be able to stop operating that in that level one, level two, level three, and really start operating in those higher levels that are gonna allow you to attract what you're meant to attract in your business? You know, I had a client who was, she started really giving away a lot of free information. And I'm like, I can relate to that. I've done that before, um, which is all fair and good. But you want it to be an equal exchange between the information you're giving and the value that you're receiving. And when she really was able to figure out what was holding her back from stepping fully into that value, raising her prices and really owning it wasn't a question. It wasn't like, how do I do this? It was just easy. So this is another client who went from giving away free information to charging a price she felt good about and actually having people say yes because she was so confident in it. So with this information that we learned today, it's like, how do you apply it? How do you know where you're actually at when it comes to the seven secret levels? Where are you on the spectrum? What beliefs are holding you back? What isn't serving you? And what should you use more of? How do you know that? I'm gonna share with you exactly how to figure out exactly what levels you're at and how to switch up your sales game like, whoa, charge the price that you want to charge and do the work that you're meant to do without the struggle, without the sleaze, without the hesitation and the anxiety around it. So if you're ready to attract that into your business, if you're ready to find out exactly how you can get support in skyrocketing your sales, don't miss out on the very last video. And I cannot wait to see you for video four.